Hello guys, welcome back to another video. This is Cooper Barnes, and in today's video, we are going to be playing Gmod. Now, this is a new game I'm going to add to the series. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you. I'm going to start making a. I'm going to show you how to make your own NPC spawner, and I'm going to start making a bunch of tutorial videos on this because it is kind of a difficult game for some people. And I will be showing you how to download add-ons in the future. But for now, um, you're going to have to have VJ Base. Now, it's really simple to get. Just go to the same web store and search VJ VJ Base. But to make it easier, I'm going to try to put the link in the, in the description to Steam to the web store. Um, if it doesn't work, I'm sorry. Uh, it might be because it updates or whatever. You may have to, you may need to just search it on the Steam web store. It might uh, make it so it's the latest version. But you can use the link in the description if you'd like. But I'm going to teach you how to make your own uh, NPC spawner. So what you're going to want to do is go to VJ Base, and then you're going to want to go to Tools. You can see NPC spawner. You're going to click on that. You're going to go to Dr. Vridge, and then you're going to want to go to NPC spawner. Now, I'm, you can pick any NPC in the game you'd like. I'm going to pick the Xenomorph because I'm kind of an alien fan. I'm going to go ahead and pick him. And um, if you're doing tanks and stuff, like huge, huge things, go by 150. If you're doing um, uh, if you're doing by a um, like if you're doing a soldier or something, do it by 50 like I'm going to be doing. But um, it really doesn't matter. Um, you can put your... Uh, I can't find the nun setting, so I guess I'll have to give my alien a American M1 Thompson. But um, So what you're going to want to do is put 50. Update that. And you're going to put 100. Update that. And then put 150. Update that. And put... 200 and update that now once you get to 200 reset put 50 and change this one to 50 so keep it this way when you go up to 200 whenever you reset back down to 50 put this one back basically add 50 to its value for instance if it's 50 and this is at 200 so like if this is 200 I, I would have eight of these it's um you're gonna delete that put it back down to 50 and then you're going to want to put this one back to 100. And just keep on doing that because that basically makes a row. So that means you have two rows whenever you do that. I have one row right now. So I'm going to make two rows. Why did I put an equal sign? <laughs> um, so I did put, um, yeah, I did put 50. So 50, make sure you put 50, update the list. Um, uh, sorry about that. Um, you're going to want to put 100, put 150. And put 200. Now your NPC spawner. You can put it more than that. You can. I've put over 34 NPCs in this NPC spawner before, and it handles it just fine. But for instance, if you're going to be doing battles and stuff, I prefer you kind of keep it down low. You can spawn a bunch of the NPCs in here. Like if, okay, so they're going to attack me because I don't have ignore players on. Uh, let me just go ahead and ignore players. Um, now, what's cool about it is that if I, if say for instance you die and you lose it, you're going to want to go back to Dr. Vridge and you're going to find it right here. Now you're going to want, want to click on that and you see how they spawn in a file line like that. Um, you see how they're spawning in a file. If you just, if you just did that on zero, keep on doing it, they go straight forever. And if you, uh, did, I don't prefer you use that. That makes them go up, spawn up in the air and they fall down and half the time they don't even fall down. Um, so guys, that is how you make your own NPC spawner, and this right here is a way how you can use your, you can give them weapons and stuff, so like, um, if I want to give them the gunship cannon, I'll have to put this down to 100, but sadly, this, um, NPC is not allowed, is not actually able to, uh, get it, so, yeah, Guys, that's how you uh, make your own NPC spawner. As you see, um, he won't have the weapon, but if you look closely, you can see he spawned over here, which is the third start of the third row. Well, guys, thank you for watching the video. If this if this helped you, please subscribe and leave a like to the channel. And see you guys in the next video. Bye.